course, the Oscars discourse overwhelmingly focused on Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. It's the slap heard around the world, of course. But there's another Oscars related story that deserves a lot more attention. And it has to do with a labor dispute at the Chateau Marmont in Los Angeles. Now this is the uh, hotel where Jay-Z and Beyonce decided to host an Oscars after party. What they clearly either didn't know or didn't care to know about is the fact that there's currently a boycott taking place as a result of workers uh, saying that they've been abused uh, at this place of work, at the Chateau Mormont, okay? And so the Unite Here Local 11 Hospitality Union has been boycotting the hotel since 2021 uh, because of how poorly the employees have been treated. So just to fill you in on all of that, and then I'll give you the update on this uh, Oscars after party. In 2020, Chateau Mormont owner laid off nearly all of his employees at the onset of the pandemic without providing severance packages or extended health insurance. Months later, more than 30 staffers told The Hollywood Reporter about long simmering workplace issues, including allegations of systemic racial discrimination and sexual misconduct. Those are pretty serious allegations. And if there's a boycott taking place, maybe reconsider hosting your after party event <laughs> at this place. But nonetheless, Jay-Z and Beyonce went forward with it. Now, both sexual harassment and racism apparently were running rampant at this hotel. Five employees, one man and four women told The Hollywood Reporter that they were inappropriately touched by the owner, Belays. Uh, either at work or during company events, typically on their buttocks or while he was inebriated. What's weird is that it didn't feel personal, says one Chateau staffer. He was just in a promiscuous mood. He does it in a way that makes you feel unseen by him. And there were other allegations as well. For instance, there was a restaurant staffer in a supervising role who allegedly directed ethnic slurs at a group of Latino kitchen workers multiple times a week for years. They didn't feel they could report the situation without potential blowback. And so on March 21st, Variety actually revealed that Jay-Z and Beyonce were gonna host this Oscars after party event. There was backlash to that. So I don't believe for a second that like they were unaware that there's a boycott taking place. I just don't think they really cared about it. The union and former Chateau Marmont employees actually organized press conferences. They sent letters to city officials in the following days to try to put an end to the party. But to no avail, obviously the party still happened. And so with no other options, they decided all right, then we're gonna go ahead and protest right outside of the hotel as all these celebrities are arriving for the event. And so here are the celebrities who decided to show up, didn't really seem to care too much about the boycott. It makes me really sad because there are a lot of people on this list that I like. Janelle Monet, Emily Ratajkowski, who's usually right on a lot of political policy issues. Not surprised about Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian and all of that. In fact, Kim Kardashian's Dealing with some blowback after she made some ridiculous comments about women. Like she was asked to give women advice. And this is the advice she decided to give them. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. And you that's have so to, true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments. And show up and do the work. You have to work. And obviously, what she's saying there is work for me, <laughs> right? Like, that's what, like, she's apparently having some sort of issue with her own employees and decided to get super salty about it in that ridiculous interview and, and that statement. Um, but last week, she did address the blowback that she got for issuing that statement. She says it wasn't a blanket statement toward women. Or to feel like I don't respect the work or think that they don't work hard. I know that they do, it was taken out of context, it wasn't. But I'm really sorry if it was received that way. So there's her non-apology really. And by the way, after she issued that statement, a bunch of her 
you know, former employees uh, came out and had something to share with everyone. Kim Kardashian West is facing claims from seven members of her domestic staff that say that they were not paid enough or given breaks while employed at her California home. The plaintiffs claim Kardashian West failed to pay overtime, cover expenses and provide legally mandated breaks according to a civil action filed in Los Angeles County Superior Court. So look, those are accusations, we'll see how that lawsuit plays out. But given the way that she issued that statement, I wouldn't be surprised. Given the fact that she had no problem crossing that picket line to attend some Oscars after party, I'm also not surprised. Um, and you know, let's get back to some of the people though who actually did do the right thing. Um, so a union representative said that Casey Affleck, uh, after hearing about the protest from the organizers, gave a thumbs up and turned away from the party. Love to hear it. Also, a representative for the protest said that uh, Lakeith. Uh, uh, Stanfield told the assembled group, "Quote: I respect what you're doing." But it's unclear whether or not he went inside. But it's it's good to show solidarity with a statement. Hopefully he didn't go inside. But there are others who decided to skip the party after learning about the boycott. Want to give them a lot of credit as well. Gabrielle Union, Spike Lee, Issa Rae, I'm so happy to hear it. I love her so much. Samira Wiley, Jane Fonda, Martin Sheen, Tom Morello, not surprised about that at all, by the way. Eddie Falco, Amanda Seyfried, and everyone else that you see on that list. David Diggs, Tanahishi Coates, and Sarah Silverman have all publicly backed the boycott, and I love to hear it. Sarah Silverman is also wonderful. I mean, she's pretty active politically speaking, and I love hearing her perspectives. So that solidarity is important. It's really important to show that you know the workers at these places that we love so much that we enjoy going to, are being treated right, they're being paid well. But more importantly, that their work environment is a safe one, a place that they actually feel safe going to and earning a living in. And based on what we've heard from these employees at the Chateau Marmont, that has not been the case. And it's really sad to see all of these incredibly wealthy celebrities not really taking into account their privilege. They love to virtue signal about privilege, but when push comes to shove, they never actually carry out the right actions that show solidarity with the workers. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.